What's going on everybody? Welcome to another match preview. We are going through the quarterfinals of Wimbledon. We're finally here. It's in the second week of Wimbledon. We're finally at the quarterfinal stages and we're going to be going through Federer versus Nishikori uh, and see how they've gone. On a side note, Nishikori's made his fifth Grand Slam quarterfinal in a row. So the last five Grand Slams, including this one, he's made the quarterfinals. So we'll go through the uh, road to the quarterfinals so far for both players. We'll start with Federer. So as you can see, best result here. We know how many times he's won this. He's uh, won this eight times before. He's an absolute dominant force at Wimbledon. And as you can see, last time he won it was in 2017 against Marin Cilic, an injured Marin Cilic, but still he won the trophy in 2017. First round, he lost the first set against a young South African Lloyd Harris, very shockingly, because a lot of people thought that Federer was going to wipe through the competition. His draw was actually pretty easy compared compared to uh, someone like Nadal. So it was very interesting to see him lose the first set. But then as you can see there after that, he dominated in that match and continued to dominate all the way up until this stage. So he beat uh, Clark in the second round, a young wild card from the UK. He beat Luca Pui in the third round. Not a great performance by Federer, but still enough to get him through. And then Berrettini was the huge shock. I thought for sure that Berrettini, massive, uh, you know, massive serve, massive ground strokes, good form on grass courts. I think it was 13 or 14 wins on the grass in this short season. Federer put him away in about an hour and a half, and it was well less than an hour and a half. Uh, it was one of the, I think it was the fastest match at uh, in, a Wim in a Wimbledon or a Grand Slam fourth round men's match. So super quick, Berrettini out in very quick sets. And now he's playing Nishikori in the next round. Let's go see what Nishikori's done so far. So, like I said, Nishikori's made his fifth Grand Slam uh, quarterfinal in a row, which is a huge achievement. Very consistent over the last 18 months. But as you can see, he's only dropped the one set. He won against Montero in the first round, a uh, Brazilian player. He, lost, he beat Nori in the second round really easily in that third set. Uh, then Johnson was coming off a five-set match, uh, and he beat him in straight sets. I thought maybe there was a little bit of danger there. Uh, and then against Kukushkin, dominated, uh, lost the second set, but dominated the rest of the match. So Nishikori's only dropped a set. Federer's only dropped a set up until this point. Let's look at their head-to-head -head because it gets really interesting in, in their head-to-head. -head. So as you can see, the last time they've played, Nishikori actually won that match. So it's 7-3 overall in favor of Federer. No surprise there. Everyone would assume that Federer is the favorite against most players and has a winning record against most players. Uh, but Nishikori won their last meeting. It was at the ATP Finals last year in London. And a huge win there. Uh, they actually played, I think, three tournaments in a row. Uh, Paris Masters, the last week of the 2018 season. And Shanghai was a month before that. So they played three weeks, uh, you know, within probably a month of each other. Uh, very, very close, uh, you know, uh, in in time, and it's very interesting to see that Nishikori could overcome those losses against Federer and somehow beat him in London. The last time they played. Nishikori served at 76% of first serve, so he's going to have to serve really well against Federer on the grass courts. He's going to have to serve within the 70s to 80 range. Uh, definitely needs to do that. Uh, last time they played, Federer only had two break points, and he couldn't convert. So very interesting to see Federer didn't have many chances against Nishikori. So again, Nishikori needs to limit the opportunities for Federer if he's a chance of winning this match. Then you can see last round when Nishikori played in the fourth round, he had 50, he won five of 13 break points, so he had a lot of opportunities against Kukushkin, but he couldn't take all the opportunities. It was enough to get him through, but still, he's going to have to convert a lot of break points, especially because Federer is not going to give him that many. Uh, he's going to have to convert all the break points he gets. And in the last round, Federer only hit un uh, five unforced errors, so very, very clean hitting from Federer. Uh, didn't, you know, won in about what, 75 minutes or something like that. Uh, so yeah, only hit five areas within that time frame as well. So Nishikori is going to have to hope that Federer is not playing the same quality of tennis he was in the fourth round. So let's talk about who's going to win this match. Now, as you can see, 7-3 head-to-head record. It's a tough one. It's a tough one because Federer is coming off a pretty good win. Uh, Federer hasn't looked great on this, you know, during Wimbledon. He's had a couple of tough matches. Puy, you know, he won in straight sets, but it looked a little bit... Uh, on the score a little bit tighter than it was. <clears throat> then it, you know, is actually pretty tight uh, when you look at the stats and stuff like that. Uh, and Nishikori's had a really good tournament so far. But even though Nishikori's had a really good tournament so far, I can't go past Roger Federer. Uh, I think that he had the easiest draw probably 
with uh, Novak Djokovic. Easiest draw to this point. Uh, Berrettini was a good win as well. Berrettini in that straight set. After what I said, Berrettini coming off one of the best grass court seasons of any player this year. Uh, and he put him away like he was, you know, not meant to play on the grass court. So uh, I think Federer is going to win this match. I think Federer has just got too many weapons on the grass against Nishikori. Maybe a hard court. I'd make it a little bit more 50-50 uh, and try and maybe give uh, Nishikori a set, but I can't see Nishikori beating Federer here. I can't see him. I can get it, maybe get him a, give him a set, but I don't think he can beat him on the grass courts of Wimbledon. So that's the... Quarterfinal for Nishikori versus Federer. Stick around because we are going to do all the quarterfinals. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.